Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to introduce you to my residential windows family sets that I have just got done creating. They're really awesome because I don't know if you've ever wasted time trying to get your windows on the exterior of your house to look right, but it can take forever and it stops you from designing the building and doing what you were on track to do. You have to sit there and take time to uh, create a new window style or family which can be a whole different ball of wax. So I got sick of having to stop and do that. So I've created me um, some really good parametric window families um, that also match all my door families and have the same parameters and are super consistent in how they function and look. Uh, Cause that's the other thing is a lot of the window families you find for free don't, they're okay, but they don't look that great or they're not, flexible enough to do what you want and still look great. So these will look good in 3D, they look good in elevation, they look good in plan, and they're super parametric. So I'm gonna jump right into those, but before I get too far into it, um, most of my families that I create, if you've bought them before, you know that they usually run on a type catalog, which means that when you load them, you need to go up to the insert tab, load family, and go ahead and navigate to the windows, and when you go to load it, you hit open and you get this dialogue with all the different sizes. And then you can just pick the ones you want rather than loading. Sometimes it's like 30, fam 30 different types of the family. So there's no need to do that and bloat your file. Just grab the ones you need and click OK. And it will go ahead and load only those families in there for you. Okay, but uh, once you get in, you'll see uh, uh, it depends on what you buy. I have three different styles. I'm gonna show you all of them. Um, you can buy them all in a big package and then you have all the options. But right now, um, the main styles are the prairie style mullions, the um, colonial style, and then you've got kind of craftsmen. And then they all three styles have the option to shut off the mullions, which allows you to basically have just picture windows. So you don't have to do that style. So let's just take a look at that. Let's close all these. Uh, if you're familiar with my families, you know I only put parameters for the user to use in three different places, which is materials and finishes, dimensions, and the other category. And the other category is where we can shut off the millions. So if you just click OK, we'll go in and there you go. So you can do that with all three styles. So um, if you don't want mullions, you don't have to have them. Then the types of windows we have here are this whole bottom row. Those are all fixed windows or picture windows. So you've got just your standard rectangular, an arch, an oval, round, and semicircle. And then up here, you've got um, your awning window is what this is. And you've got your double hung slider, a double casing, and then a our double casement and then a casement window. And in floor plan, you can see the picture windows just look like a standard window. And then the other windows have a variety, uh, like this is an awning. So you can see it's got the awning jam. This is a double hung, so you're seeing the bottom piece. A slider has a, the slider symbol, and then the casement windows have casement symbols. So. The windows look good in plan and in 3D and in elevation. If I flip to that real quick, they have their motion symbols as well. If you don't like those, those are easy to shut off over here in the instance parameters. You can shut those off. So now there's no sliding symbol here and here if you don't want it. Uh, that's pretty standard with all the windows and my door families. Then if we go back to 3D, uh, another thing you can do is to shut off the trim. You can control the interior separately from the exterior trim. Maybe you want to show it on the interior, but on the exterior, you have something else going on. So you can go ahead and shut that off as well. So there's nothing there. And then on the type parameters, <clears throat> You've got your typical stuff that you would expect. Um, 
So materials, you can do the window material and then the trims in interior separately from exterior again, then the glass, and you've got your width, height, uh, and then the inset of your window from the exterior. Um, some people like them flush, some people wanna push them in. You have that option. Then you have all your trim dimensions. Then if you go down to the bottom under other, you've got your trim style. So if you'd like a different type of exterior trim, let's maybe go with a colonial exterior. Uh, the X being exterior and the hyphen being interior. So just make sure you choose the right one. So maybe instead of colonial on the inside, we want just a simple rectangle interior. And then your mullions, maybe you don't want colonial. Um, if you buy the set with every family in it, you'll have more options here but um, typically you can do whatever style you bought and then the horizontal or vertical. So let's just go, let's, let's say we want horizontal here and then you have the option to shut your mullions on and off. So let's make those changes and see what it does. And then we also need to turn on the exterior trim so we can see. And there we go, we've got colonial on the outside, simple rectangle on the inside, and then our mullions have changed to just horizontal for us. So another thing you'll get with these families, it doesn't matter which one you pick, it comes with exterior or um, face-based trim families because what happens a lot with windows is you want to combine them and make uh, like a series of windows with one set of trim around the whole thing. So I've done an example here, but so what I've done is I've taken uh, three different window types just a standard picture, then a casement window, and then another arched picture above. And then I've arranged them how I want, and then what has happened is I have these trim pieces, so one, two, three, and then an overall four, four pieces of trim. And all I did was each window, I just went ahead and shut off the trim that goes inside the window. You can see the trim shut off here. And then I just put them in an arrangement I liked. And then I used the separate independent face-based trim families to then trim out the window. And then what happens is I probably should have left them unjoined. <clears throat> so if we unjoin the geometry, this is what it looks like when you first place them. Uh, but I used a family type that you can join with other families. So now all you have to do is just join geometry and then it gets rid of all those seams for you. So it looks like one big trimmed, trimmed out window system. So there it is. Um, actually, I need to do one quick disclaimer with the arched trim. And I, I've written Autodesk, I've spent a month trying to figure out this little bug. And in the end, it's just an Autodesk bug. But the trim family, something to do with the arch makes it want to break when you change sizes in huge increments. So for example, if I brought this in and it was originally three feet wide, and I wanna change it to fit this window system that maybe is like eight or 10 feet wide, I can't go from three feet to, to 10 feet. For some reason that breaks the family. And like I said, I have stewed over this for hours on end. I've gone to every chat room. I've chatted with other family experts and no one can figure out why it's breaking. But what, so what you do to get around it is if it's at three feet right now, you move it to four feet, then say six feet, then eight feet and work, just change it and work your way up and it will work out fine. Like it can actually be that wide, it just doesn't want to change um, all of a sudden from two feet to 10 feet wide for some reason, it doesn't like that. But if you just move it in one or two foot increments all the way to the size you need, then it's fine. Same with like a weird dimension. If you were at like three feet and you wanted eight foot six and a half inches, you'd probably have to move from three to four to eight and then from eight to the six and a half. Uh, to, eight, to the eight feet, six and a half inches. So I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm still working on it. I've still got some questions out in forums and some examples other people are working on to try to solve that. But until I get that solved 
and release an update. Just know that if the arch trim families break for you, they're not broken, just take, change them in smaller increments. All right, guys, I hope you love the families. If you find other bugs or problems, let me know. I'll fix them and do a, a release. If you have suggestions, I love suggestions as well. Uh, thanks for taking a look. Good luck.